All right, if you're looking for something freehold, you want a good size tree bader standing at 1,500 odd square feet. Now, Property Lane Brothers today is taking you to the art here at Balestia Thompson. Let's go check out this place. All right, so we're right here in the unit itself, here at the art. And before we show you around the home, let me just share with you a bit more why people love uh, living in this little enclave of the Balestia. We're actually situated right at the tail end of Balestia Road, where it kind of interconnects to Thompson Road itself. And why people love living here is that uh, you still get to be close to the Wampo Food Market, Balestia Food Center, as well as many of the famous eateries like your Buntong Ki or Loiki Chicken Rice. If you are also driving, what you'll notice is once you exit from the PIE and you turn on into Jalan Dato, this is one of the slip roads that takes you to the art itself. Here at the art, this was developed by City Developments Limited, CDL, back in 2010. This project is sitting on a sprawling land size of about 550,000 square feet and we only have a medium density of about 336 units. This development gives you lots of communal spaces, lots of facilities and amenities right down in the communal grounds itself. Now let me share with you more about the connectivity here from the art. If you're travelling towards town, it's just three bus stops or about 10 minutes away to Novena MRT by bus. From Novena, it's just one stop away from the Newton downtown line interchange. On the opposite direction, if you're heading to Topayo MRT, that's also about just three bus stops away, about 10 minutes, taking you two stops to the Bishan Circle Line interchange so we're sitting right now on this really beautiful balcony. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the unit types here and layout differences. At the ART, there are 336 units. It's made up of two, three and four bedroom types. There are also two main general facing. So you're either facing towards the PIE or you're facing internally towards the Ballester Novena area. This city view facing uh, is really hard to come by. There are generally very few units available for sale for this particular facing. For the three bedrooms, there are 164 units and the the unit sizes range from between 1399 square feet and 1625 square feet. Comparing the layout differences between the three bedroom types here, for the 1399 square feet layout, you'll notice that you get a shorter balcony. The balcony doesn't extend to your bedrooms. And another difference is also for the second bedroom, you get a smaller common bedroom. So you're either stack 5 or stack 7. Stack 7 will have a similar facing as this unit, which is southeast. The stack is in the middle of the project, so you do get a shorter kind of breadth of view. Stack 5 is pool facing. Facing, but you get a little bit of afternoon sun. Your unit is facing northwest. For this 1625 square feet layout, you will notice that your dining doesn't have access to the balcony. It starts from your living and then extends all the way towards your bedrooms. Another thing you'll notice is that it is a longer kind of layout where you have three bedrooms on one side of the unit. That also means you have a slightly longer walkway towards your bedrooms. Stack 2 will be facing southeast away from the highway and stack 10 you will be facing towards the PIE and that will be northwest facing. For the layout that we're in today, the 1528 square feet layout, what's different is that you have a very regular square shaped kind of layout where you have the balcony extending all the way from your living and dining throughout your bedrooms as well. And there are two stacks, either stack 11, which is the unit that we're in today, or stack 3. For stack 11, you are in the cornermost stack. You're also southeast facing, no afternoon sun, and you're facing away from the highway. For stack 3, you will get some northwestern exposures and you are facing towards the PI as well. So if you were to look at it closely, the main difference between the 1399 square feet layout and the layout that we're in today, 1528, you have a difference of about 129 square feet and that mainly is allocated to this balcony space. Mark will now show you around the house and uh, explain a little bit more about how this beautiful balcony can be fully utilised. So we're going to kickstart a home tour right here from the entrance foyer zone. You have this walkway that allows you to put in your shoe cabinets on the left right over here. There's three full panels. So our owners have just renovated the place back in 2017. So most of the stuff you see are just about three to four years old. For example, this wall paneling of wood timber strips look alike. They have been done to flush the entire walkway towards your living room. You enter into this very generous size type of a living room space with your TV console wall over on the left hand side over here. Your space to put in like your amplifiers, speakers and of course a huge TV set if you like. Viewing distance is great but I think what is the key selling point of this unit is this balcony space so follow me. 
So you have like on the left hand side over here, like a chill out zone, you can just take a seat, enjoy your time. But I think the main difference like B3 shared was that this balcony space is essentially one of the biggest in the entire development itself for a three beta. But why I love this is because if you can have multiple segmented zones in your balcony. So that was the chill out space. Uh, this over here is uh, also another secondary chill out space, but if not, you can also convert this to like a dining area. Comfortably, you can definitely put in like a six seater right over here. And of course, flush towards the end, you have additional space. Like owners are just using it as additional storage space, but if you like, of course, you can put in like a armchair, some things that our owners have already put in that are cost saving is that you have these Invisigrills that are done out throughout the entire stretch. Uh, you also have motorized like outdoor blinds already installed. That's why you see these guidelines right over here. There are actually lights on the floor itself. In the evenings, you can actually turn this on. There are like spotlights that will shine up from the ground. Now, our owners have also overlaid the floors with vinyl flooring. So you have this timber look alike. So it makes it more homely and warm as well. So of course, coming back into the living, the floors here are all clad in marble tiles. Marble is great because when you actually like wrap your Feet. You don't feel the grooves of the floor. Dining zone is located right over here. Six seater is comfortable. I think you can definitely go up to like an eight seater as well. Also, something our owners have done up is these are actually real tiles, so they are very hardy. They basically are to mimic like a gravel backdrop textured feature wall look alike. Coming to the kitchen space, it's all glassed out right over here. If you're doing heavier cooking, the sliding door is already installed, so you can just shut this. Very functional kitchen space. The three zones in the kitchen are there, so you have your washing zone right over here. Your food preparation space for all sorts of kitchen appliances cooker hood and hop. There's also an inbuilt oven. So there's a lot of storage on the top and bottom in your kitchen. Right behind this door, of course, you have your yard zone for your laundry. You have the utility room for storage and there's a separate WC. In the living room, you see very nicely done up down lights as well as cove lighting already installed. And there's a fan as well as like a hanging light here in your dining which will also stay with the home. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to pass the time on to B3. She's going to share with you more about the price comparisons around this area as well as show you the rest of the home. Alright, so now the question is if I'm after a three-bedroom unit that's freehold and I want something that's newer, about 10 to 11 years old, uh, I want a good size of around 1,500 square feet and I also want a mid-sized project of over 100 to 300 units. Um, what options do I have under 2.5 million in the area? Looking at the entire D11 and D12 landscape, there are a couple of things that we observe. So over on the other side of PIE, you have trellis towers, TOP around the year 2000 for a three bedroom unit there over 1400 square feet asking prices about 1535 psf 2.28 million and then immediately surrounding the art you also have other freehold uh, relatively new project you have cube 8 which TOP in 2013 the three bedrooms there are about 1400 square feet asking of about 1688 psf about 2.4 million negotiable and then you also have 368 thompson which was completed in 2014 the three bedrooms there are slightly smaller at 1300 square feet asking of over 1600 psf as well looking further down towards the novena area for freehold project we have pavilion 11 which was completed in 2009. The three bedrooms there are about 1485 square feet, asking over 1000 PSF at 2.55 million. They also have other projects like Monte Blue where the PSF is also ranging above 1006, asking of about 2.55 for a similar size unit. If you want to keep your overall quantum below 2.3 at 2.29 at 1498 PSF and size at 1528. So for this unit at the art, we feel that it really hits the trifecta of price, PSF and overall quantum which is really rare looking across the entire landscape of D11 and D12. Let me show you the bedrooms. This is the first common bedroom. The flooring is still in great original condition. It still has that sheen to the parquet. And also, um, this is built in. This was original from the developer. Right now, there is a single bed with a pull-out below, but this room can fit um, easily a queen. For the second bedroom, this is where the balcony uh, connects to um, both this common bedroom as well as your master bedroom. This is all built-in storage space. If you want to convert this into a bedroom, you can. So you could remove all of the shelving and then this would be a really good sized bedroom that's really bright as well. What I love most about it is from this room, you can head out to your balcony, enjoy this extra space here. Like the owners have, they have put a chair here, you could sit and just chill on your balcony. 
finally we'll check out the master bedroom. Oh, but before that, this is the common bathroom. These towels were original from the developer. Full size mirror here, got your vanity and some storage down below. And the shower area comes with a ventilation window. We love that there is a ventilation window here. And overall, it's a very well maintained common bathroom. And then on this side is your master. This is a great size master bedroom. The panelling and the wainscoting behind the bed that's done by the previous owners. This TV console is built in. If you prefer, you can remove this and mount your TV instead, but this gives the added option of having additional storage. The best part about the master is you can head out from here into the balcony. If you did zip tracks, the outside area can be an extension of your master bedroom. This could be your main sleeping area and outside you could um, possibly even put a study table um, to expand your master. You have a little walk-in wardrobe over here. You have wardrobes on both sides, his and hers. And then this is your master ensuite. What I love about this master ensuite is you have storage on both sides, so you have storage over on this side. Over on this side, you have more storage underneath your vanity. So you get both a bathtub and a standing shower, which is very reminiscent of you know hotel styles where you have both the bathtub and the shower. Another great thing about the shower area is you have a bench over here and then you also have some nooks for all your toiletries. A huge span of windows for natural light as well as ventilation. Now we'll hand you back over to Mark to talk more about the facilities and the amenities in the area. For amenities in the vicinity, you have shopping malls like Balestier Hill Shopping Centre, Zhongshan Mall, Square 2, Novena Square, as well as Balestier Plaza. For schools within 1km, you have Balestier Hill Primary, CHIJ Secondary Topayo, SJI International, as well as Catholic Junior College. Amenities within the development, you have sky terraces at the level 24, a 50 meters lap pool, there's a gym, playground, a tennis court, steam bar, and many more. Now, of course, if you want to find a very good size three bedder at over a thousand five hundred odd square feet at the city fringe, you want freehold. And if you want to hit that perfect trifecta of a great price of under thousand five hundred PSF, overall quantum of below two point three mil, asking of two point two nine negotiable, and an overall great size unit at one five two eight square feet, then you definitely want to look here. So do give our listings manager a call if you want to come by for a physical viewing. I'm Mark. I'm Beatrice. Probably, Probably Lynn Brothers. Brothers. Always, Always happy, happy to, to show you the place. place.